Welcome back to another WIS technology tutorial. As promised, um, I have worked out a tutorial on creating a badging system for um, awesome tables where you can award badges uh, to your students for uh, achievements that you decide. So I've decided to lay this out in several parts just uh, so it makes a lot more sense because there are a lot of small steps that need to be configured. So we're going to kind of take it slow um, to make sure everything is covered and go from there. So the first thing I did was I created a folder in my Google Drive that uh, has a Google form and then the corresponding form response sheet. So the form looks like this. Um, the, the first question um, needs to be the student's name. Now when this is filled out in real life, that question will be automatically populated with students from your roster. So it just has to be in first position and it's a short answer text. The rest of the questions are really checkbox questions uh, and it's important that they be checkbox questions because I have a function in the spreadsheet that counts the number of boxes checked. So. I just chose four achievement levels here to easily demonstrate the math of like 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And I'll show you how those are calculated as well. But basically the function counts the number of check boxes checked um, and then divides that by four to give us a percentage in terms of progress towards that badge. And then once all four boxes have been checked, the badge is awarded. So here's what the response sheet looks like. So everything you see from A to E comes with the form response sheet automatically. So this, is, this, this will be delivered to this sheet based on the responses in the form. Everything from F to the end of the sheet, so F all the way to M, those are things I've added, and I'm going to talk about that those things now. And then in the later video, I will go into class roster, the badges, and the template. But we're going to focus specifically on form responses one in this tutorial video. So the first thing I did was I needed a way to get back to edit the original responses. So there's a script that's running on form submission here in column F, um, and I will paste the, uh, the code for this script uh, in the description of the, the tutorial as well. That way you can have access to that. So if I go to the script editor, this is really zoomed in. Okay. So this one I've just called it edit URL dot GS, and this isn't something I've written. I've only adapted it uh, to my needs. And all you need to do in this particular script is change the form ID. Again, this is not the spreadsheet ID. This is the this is the form ID. So you put in your form ID here, and then you have to decide which column that you want the URL to go into. So and make sure if you if you have more achievement levels the greater the number this is going to have to be so I'm putting my edit response URL in column 6 so as we see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so but if I had four levels I'd have to put it in 7 so on and so forth so you got to figure out what is the last column that's populated by the form and then add one and that should give you your number for where that URL should be populated. And again, that's simply to edit the responses. If I go to that form right here, it'll take me back to edit the responses of that particular student. Okay, moving on. So in G through I, this is where I'm counting the number of checkboxes selected. So this is important. Um, 
it's simply using a count split function and it's counting based on the commas that are separating the responses so be sure that your achievements don't have any commas in the actual descriptor of the achievement otherwise this delimiter is not going to work for you so and again mine are just achievement one achievement two achievement three and achievement four so it's basically counting the number of items based on this comma delimiter and that same function is applied in these other options as well I've just changed the corresponding column make sense okay so we've got the edit response URL we've counted the number of checkboxes that have been checked now we do the math in columns J through L so here we're basically taking in this case it's G2 which is 4 divided by 4 because we have four possible options so that's why it's giving us a hundred percent here we've got 2 over 4 so that's giving us 50 percent so that's how the math is calculated and again that's happening in J through L so all of these G H and I are very similar J K and L are very similar and then the last step I did was I installed the copy down add-on which allows the formulas in other words G through L to be copied down with each new form submission so that's uh, that's how I've set this aspect of the system up so and I think that's all I'm going to cover in this tutorial um, I think I'll cover the uh, the badges um, in our next tutorial and we'll keep going on from there thanks for watching bye